Hey guys, Remix Tacos here, and I'm bringing you a video on my offensive and defensive scheme, and then my lineup, what my lineup is now. So, let's just get into it. So, we'll start off with the coaching equipment. So, I'm a Bears fan, if you guys don't know. So, I got my Bears uniform, and I guess I didn't have a Bears away uniform, so I got a Jaguars uniform, because I don't know why. The Jaguars are cool. And then Panthers offensive, and I feel like that's one of the best offensive playbooks in the game. I don't very often run uh, option, but you still have the option to run option, I guess you could say. And I just like that playbook, and I'm used to it. And I got Packers defense. This is probably my favorite 3-4 defense. And so, obviously, I run 3-4. Then I got the elite John Harbaugh. He gives a boost to power move. And then he's got both my chems, and then Bears uniform, I mean Bears stadium, because I, that's, again, my t my team. So, my lineup, I, I pick every single player on the Uh, on that place, already back. He's got 96 speed and he's pretty cheap. He was. If he's gonna get hit, so then you kind of avoid the fumble, but he's not that bad. And then I used all three of my, I always use all three of my running backs. And then this is my guy when you, oh, what is the formation? Whatever the formation, the backup running back is in. Because he's fast, he's got speed, I mean he's got, yeah he's got the speed and he's got the nice truck. And I actually get a decent amount of big plays with the amount of that formation. And he's like 500k, 500 coins, he's ridiculously cheap. And then Andre Williams is my power back. And I use him for dive plays for like if it's third or fourth and less than three. I always use like I almost always run dive play out of the same formation. And I used to always use Garrett Blunt, but I dropped the I'll compare Garrett Blunt. Like I dropped the two trucking and a few strength, which if you guys didn't know, strength is extremely important running back strength and trucking. Like, trucking isn't anything without strength. And, sir, the little more speed, more agility, more carrying, more almost everything, and catching. So, I mean, I, I don't really ever throw to him, but it's there. They both fall for, they're both good. Oh, I forgot to mention Jermaine Curse. If I don't want to, if I'm actually going to run the option, I don't feel like hurting Derek Carr. Jermaine Curse, he's like a thousand coins or something like that. It's got. And the stats are. With them. And Mike Wallace is my just I pulled the Sante Sam I had a flashback present and I pulled the Sante Sam, we all sold him and got dear Mike Wallace. He'll get like he'll get like four touchdowns this game. His ninety seven speed, six bullet If they have defense speed, they have to, I, I'd like it if they have height, but they only actually have. And, and obviously, Michael Floyd and Michael Wallace, they're probably one of the two biggest deep threats in this game. Catching. I highly recommend both of them.
I love throwing deep in decent amount of games. And then my slot guy has to have good catch and trap. He's not short. And then I got fourth wide receiver is Brandy Cook. They're both, yeah, I look, they, they're fast, they're not, they're deep threats too, they're not very tall, so obviously not going to pop. Sure, these guys, uh, these are just all must run blockers. I don't know what it is, but I mean, it's like these guys have a horrible pass block. Ninety-three, I think, in this guy. No, I think it's probably more. Ninety-one run. This guy, Travis Frederick. I I can't go on and off. I'm just gonna say Frederick is is ninety-seven run block. I'm pretty sure it is by far the best. The, is and I don't know if it's the best in a game, but I'm I'm probably. I mean, he's got a team of the year, but I don't know if I'm actually gonna have enough coins to buy it. But it, it, I don't remember. You, I used to have Matt Slosh in at left guard. I got like his most feared for like two K. Great cheap guard. He's got high strength, so it always helps. Or in unknown stats. A lot of people don't think strength does anything, but it helps blocking some other stuff probably. So great stats, great card. He's a run blocker. I used to have Joe Staley and I saw him a while ago. I'm not a replacement. But I mean, this guy's got decent run block. Decent, it's not a very good pass block, but I mean, I. I kind of probably need to replace them. So my cornerbacks, all my corner. ERC is a great card. Ridiculously fast, tall. I love tall. That guy's a good man card. Player could play. In height, in coverage, they almost all have good catching. Rope. All this, and then as I stated before, I run a three-four. Hundred thousand or 500k cards 93 street Bruce Ar rush the passer they both have great stats I think they're both oh, and 98 is just great My team. A linebacker leave in the second middle linebacker. I usually use her. I'm going to use her middle linebacker. And I love hard hitting safeties too. But Calvin. So Ricardo is just a hard hitter. Pick, go get picks every once in a while. And my kickers. <coughs> it's just 
like put the guy in if I'm just gonna do a dive play. It's pretty obvious what I do on third down. I don't really. Take his tape on. And then my opponent is probably. Okay, accuracy. Zero lane is great. I love kick power. And then. Opponent kicker in the game better than Zero lane. Greg Leg. Kick return to stat boosts their speed and stuff ridiculously. Uh, and always just the two guy back there. So these two guys are just both great at kick return. So I hope you guys enjoy. Tell me what scheme you guys run. I run just. Running counters, even though well, I mean, I run some counters, but I'm not the person who spams counters. Oh. You guys don't think fullback actually matters a lot, but I love trucking my fullbacks. It's important. He's a decent strength. He's not gonna fumble on me because I. Blind. It's the worst thing in the world. So, he's got a nice carry. Or not, if one of the guy, and then... Because he's a slower guy, and then it's a stupid thing where if you touch the guy's back, then... Into the defender. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And it's worked well for me. I mean, my record is a little misconceived. I'm nine players in all pro. So, I just demote myself to pro. lost the first game this season which never usually happens to me it's not level breakdown where's history there so I mean my record then but all five my devotions so it's what 35 losses probably lagged out like 10 games and then I fixed my internet kind of but I mean I promotions does it have super I have two Super Bowl wins I have one Super Bowl loss so I mean this guy the scheme has obviously worked for me oh and the steam cornerback thing uh, like I said before, I do 3-4 and then I show blitz, which brings the cornerbacks up. It doesn't exactly press them, I don't think. But, on you, and then you just pick it. So, I mean, once it usually only happens once and they'll stop. Usually don't, but it's alright if you do, like, fix the scheme where you'll get enough turnovers. But... Show blitz, using the safety and controlling like the slam routes and stuff, stops almost touchdowns. Nice if you guys like.